every temperature blanket update. Not too much has changed on my blanket because unfortunately I've had a lot of below 20 degree weather so again it's just a no another row of gray but it's still coming along pretty nicely and this kind of leads to a couple of different concerns that we've been talking about in the temperature blanket group which I'll have a link to it down below if you'd like to join. We're talking about the fact that we don't know exactly how much yarn you would need for this project. Like I mentioned before, you want to have at least a couple of each color on hand of like a skein of it so that you're ready to go. So again, like with my choices, I want at least to have a couple skeins of each of these, but I don't know how much I'm going to use because it depends on the weather. Like for example, I wasn't expecting to have a lot of below 20 degree weather. And just from what you saw, again, I have a 70 inch wide blanket work I'm working on. I'm almost through a gray skein of yarn. I'm not, I'm not talking about a normal size skein of yarn that you'd probably get at Walmart for the Red Heart Saver brand. So I'm getting ready to switch over and probably end up using two skeins of them. But that's only going to count, obviously, at the beginning of the year. I'll need to make sure I have more in case in December or whatever of next year it gets low. Uh, excuse me, it gets low temperatures again. So I was expecting to use more purple. I was expecting to use more like the light blue. And suddenly I'm using a lot of gray. So that's why it's important to have a couple skeins of each and make sure it's yarn that you can afford and that comes with a good amount of yarn in it, especially if this is first temperature blanket. Some yarns, um, like maybe homespun that, you don't get a lot of yardage in it, which means you're going to go through it a lot faster and that yarn can be a little more expensive. So I would say if you're tackling your first temperature blanket, really think of the cost and what you can afford. And I don't want that to deter you from making this project. I think it's a fun project. That's why if you notice on my chart, I just do general color guidelines because that way, if I run out of the specific one I have, but there's a cheaper one, I can get that same and I'm not going to be disappointed if it's not an exact match. I did take little snippets of the colors and put them in a baggie so I can try to match it as close as I can. But again, I kept it general because I wanted to make sure that if I couldn't afford the one I used, I could find something similar or, you know, that's cheaper or something for me. But the other thing you want to do too is if keeping track of your temperatures like we've been doing, you'll be able to use this as a guideline if you choose to do another temperature blanket to kind of see how it kind of was. Again, it's going to vary by year, but it'll give you an idea. Like I might next year if I do one, my daughter actually wants me to do another temperature blanket in 2020. I'm not sure about that yet. But I can look at this and be like, well, maybe I should actually divide my chart up even more to maybe showcase negative numbers, single digits, all that. And that's what we'll kind of kind of learn if this is your first time doing a temperature blanket. But again, it's been kind of a fun project. I mean, we're learning, like I said, a lot of it's about how much yarn, excuse me, yarn you can actually use. We've had people that have started their project completely over because they realized they were using, you know, stitches that were going to make the project way too big, or they didn't even like what they were doing. And that's what's still good. Is this has been going on for this whole month. People are changing things up and getting hopefully ready to be in their groove and have everything squared away. Now, I believe I mentioned it already, but again, if next week's week four update is so close to kind of the end of the month that I'm just going to group them together as one video and I'll do it for the end of the month video. And so sometimes these video updates may not happen on a weekly basis as much as I originally thought. It really is going to depend on when I want to pop on here and give you an update. But I thought it was really important for the first month at least to be doing these weekly updates to hopefully motivate you guys and give you guys some pointers as you tackle your first temperature blanket or even tackling another temperature blanket. So again, these may not be weekly updates going forward. I will probably post them. Maybe it'll be every other week. Maybe it'll be once a month. I'm not quite sure. I may still film them for me on a weekly basis and then group them together. There's different things I can do, but I was hoping that at least by doing them weekly in the first month, it's, it's going to be motivating for you guys to not give up on this project. Because there were some days I'm like, oh, I don't want to crochet my reel, but I was like, no, i got to get it done because I didn't want to get behind. And as I mentioned in the previous video, I was doing it to kind of have something positive to look forward each day because last year was kind of hard. It was lucky that I passed away. And unfortunately, even this past week, I had a friend of mine lose her mom. So it was very hard, and I still did my row because I was feeling really sad, and I was like, you know, that's part of the reason I wanted to do this project because it gave me something to look forward to each day that at the end of the day you have another another row to show for it. And again, I'm really excited to kind of see how this looks at the end of the month. Hopefully I get a little more blue and maybe even a purple in there again before the end of January. And then I'm going to do my white border like that's down here. I'm going to do it in between the months as well. So again, as you can see, it's coming along 
look pretty good, just a lot of gray. <laughs> so my daughter's happy because she likes it being gray because our cat's gray. I'm like, yeah, well, I can really go for some other colors right about now. <laughs> but yeah, so again, I like the gray, but I wasn't expecting to do so much of it. I'm almost through a skein, so I'm going to be getting on to the next skein of the gray if the weather keeps going like it is. But I hope these videos just kind of help motivate you to want to keep doing a temperature blanket. And what are some of the challenges that you're having with yours? Make sure you comment below. And, and just if you haven't already, you'll make sure that you ask questions in the group if you belong. Ask questions on here, and if I can answer them, I will to the best of my ability. And just try to have fun with it.